Hi, this is Mike from Bard Tech Services with your tech tip of the day. You ever, you ever get into a brand new car or a rental or something like that? You, you're all excited, you jump in the car, you turn the key and nothing happens. And then you're, 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 you're in that panic mode for a minute, but you get out the manual and you read through there and you, and you find out that it won't let you start the car without having your foot on the brake. Well, BARD units have a, a kind of a similar feature, if you will, and it's called a phase monitor. And we get a ton of calls throughout the year on startups where uh, the person will call and they'll say, I just started up this unit and the fan comes on, but the compressor won't run. And the first question we ask is, is it three phase? And the answer is inevitably yes. And so we say, did you look at the phase monitor? And they ask, what is a phase monitor? So right here in the unit is the phase monitor right here and what's important about that is that it's looking for the rotation basically um, the phasing of the unit so that the rotation of the compressor is correct it doesn't want the compressor running backwards the uh, scroll compressor can run backwards on a three-phase unit if it's not phased properly so that's our protection against that so when the compressor won't start but the blower comes on, the first thing you need to do is check that device and see if there's a red or a green LED. One of the two should be lit. The green is good to go. The red means it's not in phase and you need to switch two of the incoming line wires, uh, the high voltage, to the unit. Not anywhere inside the unit proper but right at the disconnect coming from your field power. If you change it on the inside it can change the polarity of certain circuits there and it can really mess things up. So it has to happen on the outside basically side of the unit when you change the phasing. And when you do that, after you've done that, power it back up in safety first. Make sure you shut down the power feeding the unit otherwise that's going to be live there. You change that power and you should be good to go. When you power it back up, you should get a green light. Well, what if you don't have either light? Well, then you don't have a call for cooling at all and you need to go back through um, your, your temperature control device and it'll, um, it should be on cooling mode and it should be calling for cooling and you'll troubleshoot it from that point back. And that's your tech tip of the day.